good. Uh, today we're going to talk about ursolic acid. Uh, it's one of the eight nutrients that I've talked to you about. In my past videos, I have explained to you that having had cancer six times, that there are um, eight nutrients that I make sure that my body uh, is fed every, every day. And I'm introducing these all to you. Um, we've already talked about the curcumin and we've talked about ECGC and that we've talked about those in the form of a supplement. But today we're going to be talking about those in the actual form of the, um, you know, of the food uh, for ursolic uh, uh, acid. Um, incorporating these foods containing the nutrients that, that I will be talking about um, throughout uh, many of my, my videos, um, they, they uh, will help starve cancer uh, growth, substantially reducing your risk of developing uh, cancer and even reverse progression of cancer that has already uh, spread. So as I've said in the past and many times, this is what I do. I've been with cancer six times. I'm hoping, you know, that it's not going to be seven, but I'm still moving right, right along. Um, anyway, ursolic acid is a compound that, um, that forms the waxy uh, coating on many fruits and, and, and vegetables. One of the highest degrees of ur ursolic acid um, is found in the skin of an, of an apple. So it's very important that you're eating this um, every day you know, that, that way. Of course, there's a number of things like uh, curcumin. Uh, um, you know, you really do need the, the supplement to be taking that because the amount of turmeric you would need, um, you know, th that you were going to get in one of the supplements, you know, you'd be, I don't know, you'd be taking one heck of a lot of turmeric. And as you know, I believe that the curcumin is much stronger than the turmeric and the curcumin is the root of the uh, turmeric. So enough about those guys, because we're going to be talking about ursolic uh, acid uh, today. Um, you know, like I said, I, I believe that it's, it's best to be, you know, eating the actual fruit itself. So that's what we're going to do today. You know, you can eat an apple every day like this. You know, many people do. Um, or sometimes you just want to you know, make it a little special. Sometimes you get sick of it. Sometimes, you know, if every morning is when you decide you're going to have your apple and then you, oh, I'm so tired of that, you know. Um, I develop uh, different recipes for myself and um, this is one of them. And, and this solves your, your um, ursolic acid for the day. I, I um, take this, you know, apple and it's quite, a, it's quite a large apple and what I'll do is I'll make it the one day and I usually have, you know, half one day and, and half the uh, other day. So I hope you like this. Um, we're gonna put this in uh, and get this ready and, and, and uh, show you how to do it. We take our apple, you know, we slice it in half. And then of course, what we wanna do is we wanna clean these, these little ends off right, right here. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna be making a, a, like a little pocket, a little pocket in this apple. And this little pocket is gonna be for a bunch of walnuts. You know, everyone peels apples and, and does things differently. This is how I get out you know, the stuff that I don't want, you know, this way. But then what I do is, because I want a nice little, um, I want a nice little hole in here. You know, I have a melon scooper here and I create a nice little hole so that I can fill it with, you know, fill it with apples. Oh, what I forgot to tell you though, is first of all, I want to, I want to make a little slice on, on the back. And we want to save this because uh, it is the skin of the apple, but we want it to sit in our dish nicely to, so it doesn't tip over and we don't lose our, you know, our walnuts while we're, while we're cooking. So let's continue with this apple. Clean off the bottom like that, like so. And clean off the top like so. This is so easy, you know, you can do it. You can do it so quickly, you know. And like I say, especially when you want something a little bit different, you know, you wanna eat your apple because we know it's good for us and we know we, we need to have that ursolic acid. But um, sometimes you just, you know, want to do something that looks a little more exciting. I know I feel that way a lot of, a lot of times. Um, a lot of people say, you know, how do I follow the diet I, I follow? It's easy. You know, I, I make up different things and um, I'm always satisfied. Um, certainly I never feel hungry, that's for sure. And, um, but anyway, this is just a good way to, to handle this particular nutrient that we, that we have to need to uh, eat every day rather. So here we have our two little guys in here. 
Um, they look pretty nice. They look like they're ready to go, go to the oven. First, what I do is I take um, just a tiny bit of butter. Uh, it's not even a quarter of a teaspoon. And I put it in the bottom. I put them in the bottom of my, my little hole here, my little apple hole, whatever you want to call it. All right, first we put this guy in here. And um, it just gives it a little richer flavor to put that little bit in. And I use an organic, I use, um, what's it called? I believe it's called Kerrygold. It's butter that's made um, from grass-fed um, uh, animals. So, <coughs> excuse me, that's really, really, you know, important, especially if you're a person who, who likes butter, um, you know, to be consume something, you know, very, very good and, and healthy for you. So then next we take our um, cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I have a nice... Um, uh, cinnamon here, an organic one. As I've said in some of my other videos, um, I do use a lot of organic when, um, you know, when I can. So put as much or as little as you, as you like. You know, they say, uh, they say um, cinnamon is so good for diabetes too. Um, and it's good for a number of things. Good for a number of things. So then I've got my cinnamon on there. And now, if you like, um, uh, nutmeg, then put a little nutmeg on. If you don't, then don't put it on. It doesn't matter. I happen to like nutmeg. I like the smell too. I especially love doing the grating. I especially love doing this. I love just, you know, using my blade here and just going along. <laughs> ah. Oh, and you can smell it. It's so fresh. Ooh. Ooh, it's good. I always, you know, when I, when I started buying the little, um, I don't know what you actually, what you call these little nutmegs or the little nut, whatever. When I started buying them this way versus buying, you know, a kind that's already, um, you know, in powder format. Uh, uh, well, I've never gone back. I've never gone back. I've always done my nutmeg this way. Then what I do is I add a tiny bit of salt. You know, they say salt brings out the flavor and everything. So I put a tiny bit of salt in there. And then here come the walnuts. I suppose if you like other nuts and you don't like walnuts, I guess that's okay too. Uh, I am a fan of walnuts and I think they're very healthy, but most nuts are. I do eat a lot of uh, nuts. Um, it's kind of like my, my snack <laughs> uh, that I would be eating. But anyway, so we're going to fill up this little hole here. Get all these little guys in here. And believe me, they'll, they'll stay. They'll stay. Put as many or as few as you, as you want. Um, sometimes, you know, I've made this and you know how we're all in a hurry when it's breakfast time. Uh, we want to get out the door or we got to get going where we're going to get going. If I have one of these, that's all I do. You know, I'll, um, you know, pop it, you know, warm it up, uh, or a few seconds, you know, pop it in the oven or something, warm it up, or I don't warm it up at all. I'll just eat it this way. And that's what I'll have for breakfast and I'm real happy. And then out the door I go. So now we filled them with our, um, with our walnuts. Now all we have to do is um, put our organic, raw, unfiltered honey. This is delicious honey. If you've ever not, if you haven't had it this way, you know, uh, before, you know, do buy it. Do, do try it. It's unfiltered um, uh, honey. And so put on as much honey or as little as you want, you know. And for me, the rule of thumb is, because I watch, always watch the, the sugar content. For me, the rule of thumb is, even on natural sugars, if it's uh, in double digits, so if they say like there's a table in a tablespoon, there's um, you know something like 15 grams of sugar, then for me that's that's too much, you know. But you make that decision, you know, for yourself. You know, healing cancer, it's all about you. It's it's, it's all about what what you think is good for you. You've got to do it. You've got to want to. Maybe it's a little sacrifice once in a while, but you know you have to. Um, want to be cured and you have to, you know, want to know that this is the way you live the rest of your life, you know. Um, so anyway, so like I said, I leave that all, all up to you. Then what we do is um, we put this in the oven, a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. And then I'm going to show you what this looks like and show you a couple ways of, of serving it uh, when it's when it's done. So let me get this in the oven. Okay, this dish is hot. Let me put them on here, all right? And um, anyway, this is what it looks like when it comes out of the comes out of the oven. You know, this syrup, um, you know, gets hard pretty fast. 
So sometimes you can scoop it up and put it in, sometimes you can't, or sometimes you could just eat. This is just the honey, you know, that has that has fallen here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our serving dish out. And something I forgot to take out of the freezer, but bear with me, the freezer's right here. I can get it. This is something that I use in place of ice cream. And I've been eating it so long now that um, the actual ice cream, because I don't do dairy, the actual ice cream doesn't taste quite right to me. But this is something called So Delicious, and it's dairy free, and it's a frozen coconut milk is what it is. As for um, sugar, there is one gram of sugar. I believe this says a half a cup because I don't have my glasses on, but it's one gram of, uh, of sugar. This makes a nice complement to this um, to this apple. So we can take one and put it here in our serving dish like this. And uh, if it's not too, too, too frozen, I can get a scoop of it out and show you. It's really, this is really good. You know, you should try it. They do have many, many, many flavors. But once again, you know, you want to look at the sugar content when you buy it because they have like a mint chip and they have, you know, all these different, uh, you know, flavors of this uh, non-dairy uh, coconut uh, coconut milk. It's really quite good. But now doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good? At least it looks good to me and I'm kind of hungry right now. But um, anyway, it's something you could do to satisfy your, your solic acid intake. You don't necessarily have to just eat, um, you know, an apple every day, plain, you know. You can have a little something fancy. When so everyone else is eating something else, you can you know, you can have, you can have this. Um, but anyway, I hope you try it. It's so simple. Like I said, you put as much, you know, put that little dab of butter. If you don't want the butter, don't put it in. It just makes it a little richer. Dab of butter. If you don't want the butter, don't put it in. It just makes it a little richer. You know, you don't have to measure your cinnamon or, or your nutmeg or anything like that. Do as much as you like. Um, it makes a, uh, just makes a, a, a wonderful, you know, a wonderful dish. And do, and do try this, um, so delicious, this cold, frozen coconut milk. Anyway, I hope I taught you something today. I hope you learned something. Um, and I hope you start to follow, uh, my diet. Um, can't hurt you. It can only help. So, um, I say to you, until next time, you know, thank you for being with me today. And as I always say to you, be happy, everyone. Bye-bye now.